So the legal bills are piling up for you know who. <laughs> Friday, he was ordered to pay more than $355 million mm. for defrauding banks about the value of his assets. Here's what he said after the ruling came down. Oh, let's look. It's a very sad day for, in my opinion, the country. A crooked New York State judge just ruled that I have to pay a fine of $355 million for having built a perfect company. Uh, great cash, great buildings, great everything. Will appeal, will be successful, I think, because, frankly, if we're not successful, New York State is gone. We have to win this election. They're doing everything possible to step in a way, but we're not going to stand for it. <laughs> and then he wasted no time trying to get other people to pay his bills by hawking gold-colored shoes at an appropriately <laughs> enti uh, titled event called Sneaker Con. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> you know, I've wanted to do this for a long time. This is something I've been talking about for 12 years, 13 years. And I think it's going to be a big success. That's the real deal. That's the real deal. Mm. What a loser he is. <laughs> God. So now he has less than 30 days to pay up. Tick tock. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe his supporters who buy them will be able to run faster from the Capitol Police in these sneakers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, dark. Joe Biden, meantime, while Trump, Trump is trying to raise money on sneakers, yeah. Joe Biden just raised $43 million over the weekend, I think, yeah. for his campaign. For his so... Campaign. <laughs> so, what did, you, what did you take away from... <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm gonna be petty just for a second. Um, those shoes are a knockoff of Gucci shoes. Can we have a side-by-side? -side? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And they oh. have red bottoms, which means Louboutin. Louboutin. Mm -hmm. You need Louboutin. to come so, in and take care so of it. So I'm wondering if, if, if he has some more civil suits headed his <laughs> way um, for oh. perhaps trademark infringement. Cultural appropriation just, from Gucci? Yeah, just giving, just giving um, <laughs> some ideas to some attorneys. Also, um, what, I, what I thought um, was, now we will know how much money he really has. Because he either has to, in 30 days, as you mentioned, post a bond, which is 10% of the total amount, which he did in the $5 million case. He posted, you know, he put $5 million in escrow. But he's not going to be able to put $350 million in escrow, and he's not going to be able to put $83 million in escrow. So he will have to find a surety company, and that surety company needs to make sure that they're going to get their money well, back. that's where the surety comes and in. And that's where the surety that's comes right. in. And that's usually about, I think, in my experience, it's, it's about 100... They have to sh he has to show that he has over 100% of the actual amount mm -hmm. before they give him 10% of... Right. $350 million. I was just asking Alyssa backstage, does Trump have any money? <laughs> he's definitely not liquid that amount. It would require okay. him to sell off some assets. Well, he's got um, that Trump building on Fifth Avenue. Oh, the Gucci, he, Gucci is, he as a matter of he fact. He doesn't want to get rid of that. He's, no, he's but they, you, properties I have to give a shout out to New Yorkers because I saw this thing online where they're boycotting in front and saying, going out of business sale. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't screw around with New Yorkers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh -huh. I'll say this. I cared the least about this case of all of Donald Trump's. Um, for all intents and purposes, it's a victimless crime. He did inflate his assets in an egregious mm -hmm. way. If I pretended that my apartment was three times the size it was to try to get a loan, that I would, I would have consequences. Wait a second. How is it victimless when taxpayers get screwed here also, don't well, they? Uh, yes. Yes. So we how do. is it victimless? I suppose on the tax side it is. But so I'll say this. Excuse me. Here's my concern in the grand scheme of things. Talking to Republicans over the weekend, many who are very much over Trump, but they worry that it's going to take the seriousness off of the really serious cases. So you've got January 6th. There are victims. 80 million voters mm -hmm. he tried to defraud. Capitol Police who were beaten that day. Right. Fulton County, voters he tried to defraud. Uh, poll workers, election workers who were harmed there. Documents, American national security was harmed. These are the most important cases. And what I hate is that this is going, Trump is going to use this judgment to say, look, it's a witch hunt. They're trying to bankrupt me. Those other cases are also witch hunts. And to some of the public, that's going to resonate and they're going to But how many? It. Is it well, enough to put him back in the I, office? I don't think it's enough. And let me push back on that just a little bit. That case was the most important case to Trump. 
That's, I that think that's is true. why he was in the courtroom this one. the entire time. His brand is everything. Money is king to him. And the fact in now, name. in Eugene his name, Carroll, and that's his, why he was, and his he name. was there for that. He had yeah. his name over every single building here in yeah. New York. And now he looks like one big, huge loser. And he doesn't have, and, 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 and people now will not know, will know <laughs> that he doesn't have yeah. the money, that he doesn't have business acumen, that he's not a great business person. And I got to tell it you, that's company. what hurts. But, but, that's that, what hurts. but does, does Melania know this? Wait. Let me jump in here, though. So although I always agree with someone being accountable and held to task, a, in a little bias, I love seeing Trump held to task, because he mm -hmm. rarely has been. I do think, and this is not due to any emotion towards Trump, I think the punishment was excessive, and for this reason. That is the one pushback. It's all legal. It all falls within the legal realm. But the number on that, what Alyssa was regarding with the no, the victim list, if you take a company that comes in, and I'm using a Katie Turr example here, mm -hmm. and it's a cosmetic company and it poisons you, and then that company is sued, they will be held accountable for a greater number because they have direct human mm -hmm. victims in the crime. Even Trump was held on this same one before mm -hmm. for only 25 million in the Trump University case, and those were victims. Those were people mm -hmm. that were, were completely defined. conned into a degree. My criticism of this is not because I feel any sorrow for Donald Trump, mm -hmm. but I do think that he is an instigator of sowing distrust in institutions. It's his one thing. Everyone's um, completely uh, kind of against him. It's a political witch hunt. It's personal. This ruling to the number it has been held is slightly playing into the optics that this was political but the, but and the personal. the number was proven by evidence. Yeah. By, it's, there's it's, a paper it didn't come out of nowhere. Of 300, yeah. the yeah. punishment? There's a, yeah. there's a paper trail here. Yeah. But, but, but how but would I trace it? Because I find... He has defrauded the government and the state of New York well, it's, it's years banks, the banks. It was from. the banks, and the banks, for even years. when testifying, said he's paid in full. So but it's I not think like there's anything lingering. But he has defrauded. Agreed. I just think the number is, is excessive to prove the point and hold him accountable. Not, I mean, if, maybe, not if you say that you have a billion dollars. But it is a little right. bit, but this does rest on the banks. If it's you're going to lend you, But here's the thing. You know what? Far Listen, be it for me to defend you. He said take him to trial. They took him to trial, and this is what they found. Mm -hmm. And this is what he has to do. I don't always like when I go to trial, you know, how, <laughs> what was that? how people, uh, that's not, um, how people, you know, treat me. But the bottom line is, the court did what they were supposed to do. That's their finding. And nobody always likes the way it comes out. Now, either we say we, we want people to have to go to trial and get their comeuppance, or we don't. You know, the other thing about it is these sneakers, for example. These people who are buying them, how much are they? $400? $400. $400 or $900? Somebody just bought One them for $9,000. $9, well, that's a complete signed idiot. Who thinks he's Willy Wonka? But, he signed 10 <laughs> randomly. But, I mean, like, these are the same people who complain that they, the gas is too high, this is too yeah. high. And that all of a sudden they have money for these tacky sneakers. You know sneakers? what? Let, them, Gucci let, them buy, let them buy this. Let them buy what they want when they're running down the street because they think they got a, a good hour run to do and it starts coming off their feet <laughs> yeah. because yeah. it falls apart like a $2, you know. They also you know. They don't right. ship until July 2024. That's right. I thought you said something totally different. They're never going to see those sneakers. They're never going to see no. those And by the way, somebody I know said, I'm going to buy it because it'll be worth money down the line, really maybe 100 years from now. But like even Hitlerian stuff doesn't really sell. No. It's, no. 